Hello lords and ladies, my name is Archaic King. Welcome to my brand new Let's Play of The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. i um, been pretty excited for this game. Now, I want to admit that I'm not super knowledgeable of all things Witcher. I've played the second game maybe an hour, and that was years ago. So, I apologize if some things fly over my head, or if they were alluded to in previous games. But um, And maybe one day I'll play Witcher 1 and 2 another time. I might also read the books, which are set before the game, so. Um, before we start, I want to just say that I am a tad bit nervous. It's been a long time since I played an RPG on my channel, let alone something as big as The Witcher 3, with like 50 hours of gameplay. So, yeah, uh, I don't want to, and uh, like I said, I'm not really knowledgeable about the games, so, and the combat might, well, basically what I'm saying is I'm, I'm a little bit nervous about seeming like a noob, but yeah, you guys didn't want to hear me talk about my, my nervousness, so let's go ahead and start a new game. I've already messed around with the options, all right, so these must be the difficulties there's just a story enjoy a smooth ride through the world story and sword you're happy to be challenged blood and broken bones you're a seasoned demanding gamer and death march like i said new to the game new to the franchise so i'm just going to stick with story and sword which i assume is pretty much the basics you know the, uh, the normal difficulty while this would be the easy one uh hopefully this doesn't leave me <laughs> like like i said i'm i can be bad at games sometimes so hopefully this isn't like super hard so, yeah. Uh, yeah, we'll probably need tutorials. Uh, simulate Witcher 2 save? I don't know what that's about. So, I'm just... Uh, I don't have the save, so I'll say off, I guess? You guys can tell me what that was about. I don't... I don't, I don't have a Witcher 2 save. Holy crap. Well, that was gruesome.
no idea what any of that was about. But maybe it'll get explained later. I guess this is where we're picking up from. Ah, uh, I'm so sleepy. Hello there, Jarrell. Oh, loading screens. I remember you well. I'll be cutting these out if they ever go too long. Also, any nudity that shows, I'll probably have to cut past. I don't have any way to censor them with what I, the what software I'm using. So yeah, just keep that in mind. to amuse but to prod you to hurry it's midday already you promised Siri you'd train with her go before Vesemir bores her to death with those etchings so later then hmm see you later she sounds like the voice actress from uh, Dragon Age, uh, the witch. I feel like this is like a flashback. Additional content has been installed. You can learn more about it in the tutorials. All right, we gotta get used to the controls. New quest. Oh man. Welcome to the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. This tutorial will introduce the game's core elements. Each message will be saved in the glossary where you also find detailed information about world lore and gameplay mechanics. Disable messages go to the option menu. That's fine, I don't mind them. Okay, use your Witcher sense to find the key to the bedroom door. That would be, what, L2 it says? Awesome. Left stick to move. The mini-map in the upper right-hand corner of your display shows your current location and the surrounding area. Underneath the mini-map, you'll find the objectives for your active quest. Yeah, I see that. Okay. My witcher senses are tingling. Look for highlighted objects. Is this... Does this go outside, or what? Locked. Key required. Okay. Ooh. I doubt that's it, but I can expect. I think I can inspect that if I wanted. Ooh. Might have to lower the uh, the sensitivity of the analog sticks. The camera. It's a little bit wonky. If you want to examine an auto more closely, walk up. Running out of juice. I know. You might bring me some more once you're done training. I'm not your slave. You get it yourself. Okay, we gotta find that key. I can interact with this. Extinguish them. Okay. Use your Witcher Sense to find the key to the bedroom door. Is that it? Yes! To unlock locked doors, walk up to them and press X. That's simple enough. Face them and press X. There we go. Can I open this one too? Ha, there we go. <laughs> 
Okay. So I assume we're going down here? Yeah, go to the lower level. O is to jump. Okay. Witcher senses. I got that. Seems very easy enough. But we haven't even gotten to the combat yet. Old Witcher's fast asleep. Ciri's disappeared somewhere, of course. Ooh, that's a that's a beautiful sight. Look at these graphics. They're not important, but they look good. Just a theory. Mm. Why? Time to wake up, master. Are these lessons so boring they put you to sleep too? Damn it. After taking notes on ghouls and owl ghouls, wanted to rest my eyes a bit. <laughs> Making her slog through that brick? No wonder she took off. John of Bruges lacks flair, true, but he's reliable. Not like the hogwash they print nowadays. She's tackling the pendulums, right? How many times do I have to tell her? Don't train alone. It only embeds your errors. Bring our young damsel to the lower courtyard. She wants to practice. She'll get to practice. Ha. <laughs> Don't get mad at her. We've spoiled her. Gotta admit, we've spoiled her. We've spoiled her. I've been saying it from the start. Siri needs a firm hand. Been saying that true. But you let her walk all over you just like the rest of us do. <laughs> Fine. I suppose I'm partly to blame. But this has to end. Now. Killing monsters is not something to be taken lightly. Siri must understand that if she's to become one of us. I'll see you below. Oh. She's pretty good. Now I see why you were so eager to practice. Strike. Doing it all blindfolded too. With a flip? What do you think? Oh, she's a cutie. Right. Take off the blindfold. You've got work to do. Your reflexes are still slow. Maybe for a witcher. Think drowners or striggers will go easy on you because you haven't undergone the mutations? Though in your shoes, I'd fear Vesemir more than any strigger. Disobeying his instructions? Unwise. Well, yes, but that book was horribly dull. I know, and you know that's no excuse. <sighs> I'm sorry. It won't happen again. Better not. Vesemir said if it does, he'll make you eat a bowl of slugs covered in salt. <laughs> you! <laughs> exactly. So you'd best behave. Come on. We'll practice with the others down below. Shall we run the wolf? Yes, please. Of course. Is a witcher school or an elven bathhouse? Ha! <laughs> Insult. Shoot to the bottom. <laughs> Maybe if you fall. Okay, I guess I'll have to go up after her. Oh, press X while holding a single ladder to begin climbing up it. Okay, tilt and press. Okay. Yeah, I really am going to have to lower the difficulty, not the difficulty, but the uh, sensitivity of some of these controls. What did I tell you about breathing? Through your mouth, in rhythm with your steps. Yeah, they, it's really too sensitive. Hold on. So let me go to options, control settings. It's really the right, yeah, right, right stick sensitivity. Oh, <laughs> what the hell? That's a weird number. Um, I guess I'm lowering them. C. 
necessary. Cut it out. All right, here we go. Oh, wow, that was not really much of a fall, but it's still, it still hurt. And here I go again. Lost some more health. Seriously. Run into trouble. Should I turn back and help you? I'm I'm doing just fine. It's just that I'm still getting used to the controls. <laughs> Dang it, yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh god. Oh god, where am I going? Damn it. Oh well, I have to lower the difficult not the <laughs> difficulty, but the uh sensitivity once again. They don't they don't think highly of her, do they? Anything to say for yourself, young lady? I'm very sorry, Uncle Vesemir. Young blood craves action, I understand that. But when you fight a beast, knowledge counts as much as your silver sword. At the very least, you ought to be able to tell a ghoul from an owl ghoul. By markings, like unto the panthera tigris that in Zeracania dwells, and by the sickly paleness of its visage. Mm. So you did read the chapter. Still, you should have asked if... But you were asleep, Uncle Vesemir. Ha! Uh, could have... Let's see. Could have said you did the exercise while Vesemir was asleep. Won't weasel out of this. So you did the reading. Why not admit it right off? Never pounce on an advantage as soon as it appears. Wait till it stands to have maximum effect. Uncle Vesemir's words. Well, you're a quick study. Quick, but mischievous. Fine, we've talked enough. Geralt, you're with me, Lambert with Eskel, Siri with a dummy. Again? Stop groaning and grab a sword. What do you think? Should we start by reviewing the fundamentals or go right to free training? Fundamentals, because I'm going to need them. Should work on the basics. Even skilled masters need to hone the fundamentals. And Ciri's barely a novice. Watch me get my butt kicked. It has been a while since I played Witcher 2, and I didn't even play much of it to begin with. Draw your sword, oh, that's a lot of text. Witchers must be prepared to fight foes of all kinds, be they... Plate-clad knights, ethereal wraiths, or bone-crushing giants. To match the strength and exploit the weaknesses of different enemies, witchers need to use a variety of weapons and combat techniques. The core tools of their trade are their swords. One steel for fighting humans and non-humans, the other silver for slaying monsters. Witchers have also mastered a different form of combat magic. These signs are not as powerful as the spells wielded by mages, but they can, pass, they can be cast very quickly with simple one-handed gestures, making them quite useful in the heat of combat. Witchers are also adept in basic alchemy. They can brew powerful potions, blade oils, and bombs, all of which give them a keen advantage when fighting stronger or faster foes. Oh, great. All right. Let's see if we don't get my butt kicked. Okay, hold to draw your sword. Well, I didn't read all of that. Press R3 to select or deselect a target. When you have a target selected, all your attacks are directed towards it. You don't have to select a target during combat, but doing so can help you focus on it. All right. One, two, three. All right. Mount a strong attack against Vesmer by pressing triangle. So yeah, that's pretty typical. Triangle being the the stronger attack. Position Siri. Footwork. Wait for Vesmer to attack. Okay. To dodge to one side, indicate a direction using left stick and press O. All right. go. Wait for a mere attack. Roll out away or blow to... Ah, okay. Okay. 
Perry. And Perry. Where's Perry? Alright. Maybe a storm's coming. There we go. Come on, one more map. One time, old man. One time. Press L1 to open the quick access menu. Activate the Quinn sign. Using L and... Okay, where is it? There, okay. And to cast, press R2. Siri, Quinn is sometimes called the Witcher's Shield. Now watch carefully to see why. Oh, sweet! The Quinn sign protects you against damage and certain critical effects. Cast Igni, Geralt. I want to see sparks fly. Igni, he said? The Igni sign deals fire damage and has a chance to apply burning effect on your opponents. Alright. Alright, Geralt. Come on! Alright. Wait, what sign did you want me to do again? Oh, this one. Hold on. See that, Siri? Art will knock anyone or anything off balance. Destroy them. Time for Axie. Damn it. I hate this feeling. Which one was it? What, Axie, he said? Okay. Ugh. Axie can really muddle your mind. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, it's going to be hard to remember all this crap. Show her, Geralt. Uh, and this one. Who's next? See this, Siri? Couldn't move if I wanted to. Nice. It's gonna be hard remembering all these in the midst of combat. Don't worry, Siri. Quinn will dampen the blow. Uh, Quinn again? Wait, select a bomb. Okay. Nice. Oh, well now where am I going? Okay, stand in the mini. Okay. Hold R1 and aim at one of the highlighted training posts, then release to throw the bomb. Where? Ah, oh, they're over here. Ah, okay. Nice, that's okay. The combat tutorial is now over. If you want, you can continue training with Vermeer. To stop training, simply sheath her weapon by holding right or left. Yeah. Fine. Enough. Continue training it with. Oh, what the heck, man? I took my... <laughs> I sheathed my sword and then he hit me. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> she is spunky. Whoa. You really showed him, kid. Siri, get down here. Where's she off to? A little she devil. As soon as she's back, we'll set her to polishing all the swords at Care Morhen. Am I supposed to run after her? That helmet. Oh crap, I gotta find the helmet. Siri? Sure to find every last blade for you. <laughs> oh man. What that? Uh, what? Oh, now, yeah, this was all a dream anyways. Oh god, the power's flickering. It's the Lich King. <laughs> World of Warcraft. What did I smoke? What did I eat before bed? I had such a weird dream. You all right? 
<laughs> had a nightmare. About? Take forever to explain. Dawn, some way off. We've got time. Started in the guest room at Kaer Morin. I was relaxing in a tub, and next to me... Triss? Yennefer. Funny, isn't it? She's never been there. Seemed so real in my dream, though. Was she nagging you about something? Hmm. <laughs> hmm. True to life, indeed. We'll find her. In the dream, I went and found Ciri. And then we trained. Those were the days. Hmm. <laughs> Little she-devil. I've trained kids who were faster, stronger, but none had her character. Didn't end well, did it? Your dream. No. You, you can say that. A wild hunt appeared, attacked Ciri. I couldn't move, stood there like a stump. It was just a dream. Uh... That's the problem. It was more. In the past, when Siri would appear in my dreams, something was wrong. She was in danger. We taught her how to defend herself from anything, wraiths included. Why do I get to say that again? Okay. Maybe that's an error. Be downing soon. Time to go. Wait. Show me the letter from Yennefer. Might have overlooked some hint in there. Didn't overlook anything. We were meant to meet in Willoughby. That's what she wrote. Meanwhile, one army or another burned the village to the ground. All we can do is follow her trail, so... Stop talking for a minute and give me the letter. Oh, how about that? It does smell of lilac and gooseberries. You were gonna read it, not sniff it. We must meet soon. Will it be near Vizima? Hmm. Nothing else to guide us there. What's this postscript? I still have the unicorn? Stuffed unicorn. Used it once or twice. In certain situations. Oh, ho, ho. I heard about that. What young folk get up to these days? Back on topic. How's it look? How far behind Yennefer are we? Two or three days. Trail's fresh. But it looks like it leads towards the main road. Could be muddled there. Wait, hear that? I hear it. I smell it. Ghouls. Oh, shit. Okay, life on the continent and in the Skellige Isles is nasty, brutish, and short. War lays waste to the land, and those it spares live in fear of the countless monsters lurking outside every town and village. Monsters are shown with a silver health bar above their heads, indicating that you should fight them with your silver sword. Um, great. Well, we're going to get into some combat. <sighs> Do I have my silver sword out? Yeah, I do. What now? Oh god. Okay. Oh, well that wasn't what I wanted to do. There we go. Slow him down? Nope. Okay, well these guys are easy, so it shouldn't be that hard. Yeah, that wasn't as hard as I thought it would. I thought I was going to get my butt kicked. Alright, enemies gone? Yes. Uh, striking opponents generates a adrenaline point, or AP. Certain abilities you can acquire allow you to perform special attacks, requiring to consume adrenaline points. Your adrenaline points slowly decline when you are not engaged in combat. Okay. Of course. When armies pass, necrophage is fine. Let's go before any more show up. Uh, you can regenerate vitality by eating or drinking, or by meditating for at least one hour. Note, while playing on the Blood and Broken Bones and Death March of Galeros, meditation does not regenerate vitality. 
Food and drink can be placed in your consumable slots for quick use during combat. Press up or down to consume them and regenerate vitality. You have some food equipped in your upper consumable slot. Press uh, up now to eat it and regenerate a portion of it. Alright, welcome to your herds. Press A to mount it. Uh, can I... Monster Eye take... Alright, where are some of the other ones? Uh, let's go ahead and extinguish that. Okay, the X's on the mar uh, the map show me where their bodies are. Take all that. All that. Loot, loot, loot. Take all the loot. Wait, there's one more. Come on. Come on. Wow, I'm actually having a hard time moving. There we go. Third skull in black crystal. Why do I think this is Yen's? Anyways, guys, uh, usually I do go over the 30-minute mark for these uh, first videos of a Let's Play, but I think I'm going to cut it short here, and we'll continue my adventures in The Witcher 3 Let's Play in the next video. Um, I hope you liked the video. If you did, please make sure to thumb it up, uh, leave a comment below. I'm always open to tips and hints because... I'm new to this game, and you guys have been playing it probably for about a month now, and I'm just getting it now. Also, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. I'm doing Witcher 3 Elder Scrolls Online in the coming days, and Story of Seasons, so three quality games. I uh, hope you guys uh, look forward to those. Also, if you'd like to follow me on Facebook or Twitter, those links are in the description, and you can buy a t-shirt. Those are always fun to do. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Take care.